Welcome back, Pisces. Hi, this is Nisha, Mrs. Wild Tarot. Back to the guys reading. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers. How y'all doing? We got the Five of Swords, the Magician, and the Moon card. Okay, so Moon Walker. Please drop a like, share, comment. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, it's going to be in the description below at simplybookme.com. Some of y'all, this is somebody that's coming towards you guys or what's coming towards you that feel humiliated by you. It could be an Aries that feels humiliated by you or a Libra or a Cancer. This could be a family member too, or this could be somebody that you're going to realize that was doing magic on y'all or that's been doing work on you guys. Root work, Pisces, what I'm hearing with that moon card as well. Some of y'all also is going to learn that somebody's locked up. Or somebody was trying to get you guys locked up. That's coming towards y'all. As uh, so significant change because when I clicked, it was five, five, five. So five represents a lot of change. This could be someone that's going through a lot of changes in their business as well. But what I did get too for you guys, uh, boy, this uh, this somebody could have a secret drinking problem. It's the torch, okay? So somebody could also be like holding the torch for you, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. So some of you guys are definitely, it's a torch or being lit or some type of spiritual evolution development is coming through. All right. Before I get who's going towards you guys or coming towards you guys, all right, we're going to see here what's happening for you, Pisces. We have two of ones. Good decision, Aries. Okay. So I guess Aries want to speak to you guys because I just got um, a soul tie sister, cousin, Aries, and a past friend. So some of y'all, it's a secret Aries that is upset that y'all making good decisions. Okay. This could be the one you went to school with. Okay. S, Samantha, Sam. Okay. Sarah. Um, But Anyways, I got a lot of S's here. That's why I got S's. Or their names can start with an A. Don't matter. But we have a soul school. This person, you may have went to like a spiritual school with them. They could have been a teacher and mentor. But look at here. But the two of ones showed up. That's funny. So whoever this person is coming towards you guys, they are either saying thank you. Okay, you made the good decision. Or you have a choice of rechoosing you, Pisces. All right. But Aries is the hint aspect. Past friend. Y'all got a cousin and somebody that is also coming towards y'all that may be in a current job, okay, as y'all. Um, that is, like I said, we got hackers and spies. Some of y'all, somebody is like crazy here. All right, interference from family, humiliation, and we got married and bad vibes. This could be a whole couple or something. But you guys are going to get good news that y'all made a good cho choice or a decision to reject somebody or to tell somebody, hell no, don't come to your house. So some of y'all literally, somebody maybe want to come to your home. You're like, no, I don't think so. All right. So cancer energy. We got the world. Yeah. Closing up something. Some of you guys are going to be happy. Something is over and ended by every season, March season, y'all birthday season. You're going to see something come full circle actually close around next week or like two weeks from now which is uh going to be a crazy season this could be like y'all simply finally moving out of a bad company that may be actually closing down we got the hangman yeah you're gonna get epiphany about something uh, as well some of you guys are going to just drop somebody or drop something all right we got the ace of ones you have a new beginning happening a new fire sign coming towards you guys or a new business ideal in enterprise is what i just heard this is about new home, baby cars. One of these areas is being lit up or changed or something is beginning. We got the page of Pentecost, okay? So it could be an earth sign that's offering you something as well. Some of you guys are moving, okay? Getting into something prestigious or your public image is rising. On the rise, we got the king of Pentecost. Yeah, whoever this is, Aries, Taurus, somebody's coming in. Some of you guys also got a huge promotion coming in with the king of Pentecost. Or are you going to get a big um, payout? Or are you going to see this happen? They could be identifying Aries and um, Taurus season for this to happen. But something that you implement now this week could be very good. Major change. Some of you guys are choosing to either move away from a cancer or you have decided July is the season to do this. June or July where something major is going to happen, a change or a significant move. But it's a cancer here that you guys either rejected that may be coming back around for another opportunity. If they're married, they say like bad bad we have here the harriet fund so it's a tourist here too y'all that you may end up in a relationship with as well yeah this is about school for some of y'all you are getting into that college okay <laughs> 
And we have the unexpected being the magician. Okay. Yeah, a lot of major arcanas. We have the advice. Oh, some of y'all, yeah, this lover, this friend, this commitment is coming in, this ultimatum. Okay. Somebody is very sexually attracted to y'all. We got the five of pentacles. Also, someone's going to help you get out of a bind. Okay. Or somebody could be asking you for money. Damn, Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Cancer. Uh -huh. Let's see here. So this could be like a family member or somebody saying, oh, I'm losing my car. I'm broke. Can I get a loan, Pisces? Somebody could be like really crying it up, manipulating some type of situation or just lying like I got locked out of something. OK, everything is going wrong. They said call this person off, see through the bullshit. It could be somebody like a Libra or a Scorpio that always do this in the past. Somebody literally is like your spirit guys is like, like, look, we're showing you this person always does this or this person always end up in a bad situation, bad vibes. Okay. Or they always need your help. Okay. Cause they're always watching to see how they can get one over on you guys. This person could be married to look, we got somebody watching you guys too. So somebody's like going back to inform somebody that what's going on. Somebody could literally be trying to disturb your marriage too. If you guys are married and happy in a firm foundation here, Pisces. Yeah, we got, oh my God, they definitely identifying somebody that's married, okay? Secretly married or um, shit, something. Or somebody want to marry y'all. We have here celebration, fun, and enjoyment. So some of you guys, somebody wants to have fun. Maybe you guys may get news that you're going to be invited somewhere. Or somebody is trying to get you out to embarrass you in front of somebody. You know, just be careful what you say or do. We have temporary situations. Some of y'all going to learn somebody is homeless or they in temporary a bind or something here yeah we have the club who else had this was it a virgo someone will try to make you do something against your will okay hmm and then we got here coin money will be coming towards you so this is someone he could be like a loan shark or somebody here is trying to scam you guys out of a lot of money is what i'm hearing this could be a couple that's doing that too goldfish increasing material wealth and spiritual gold um spiritual growth as well okay this could be somebody that has animals they don't take care of their animals we have blow wow a lot of money y'all or like that's the king of pinnacle plentiful material things okay or somebody is trying to get like your items or something you i mean randomly picking these tea cards off you guys are going to hear this or you guys are stepping into a very prosperous time it makes sense with um jupiter finally entering you guys sign on December the 28th, you are like the Chessel favorite to get a lot of abundance and growth here. This is going to be a year of growth for you guys, okay? And then it go retrograde into Aries. That's why Aries season could be very important to y'all or Aries, all right, which is about yourself and being a little selfish and doing something for you as well. Tell somebody no. Some of y'all may have an Aries North note, okay, Pisces? Let's see. Something about like being a business for yourself, doing something for yourself. If you're dealing with the Aries, we got here the four of uh, the four of ones. Okay. So relationship stability. All right. They may want to be with you guys. Hang, man. They feel like you guys are blocking this or something. Or you feel like this area is not seeing something from your point of view. Justice. Something will balance out. However that plays out, something is going to be fair here. All right. With justice, you also could get the truth. Or you may feel like somebody is blocking you from getting a divorce or separating. If you're dealing with a Taurus, the five of swords, ouch. Okay. So they either feel defeated or they come in to do something very spiteful to you guys or make sure you win. Okay. So this Taurus could be giving you a foot up or they can be doing you dirty. All right. We got the nine of ones, the Sagittarius energy. They could feel very irritated. Some of you guys, they may be hurt or some of them, some type of malpractice may have happened to is what I'm saying for you guys. We got judgment. OK, so you have the ability to see something or call something out or give them information to lead them in the right direction. It's also a tourist that wants a second chance with you. If you're dealing with a Gemini, two of Pentacles could be a Capricorn involved, they unbalanced or they undecided, they're a magician, manipulator. Three of Pentacles, some of them guys are, they are men manipulating your job, your work, your admiration, the, 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 the people you collaborate with, or this is what they're trying to do, okay? Some of them want to work it out with your guy. They're going to tell you they love you, trust your intuition with them as well. Hmm. So I feel like you may need to watch the drink that this Gemini is about to give you because it could have something in there as well with the page of cups and how her eyes is closed. But it's an offer of love here, a friendship. 
If you're dealing with a cancer, you may meet a new one with the full card. This cancer is going to initiate some type of conversation and tell you that it's been hard on them. They've been overwhelming, doing back-breaking work, or they want to come back. Some of you guys, they know this is over. They know they have to significantly change in order for it to have a new beginning. Some of you guys are going to meet a cancer that changed your life as well. If you're dealing with a Leo, we got the two of swords, okay? So they doing something intentionally to break your heart, okay? We got the nine of pentacles, Virgo energy offer, okay? Or they taking a sweet ass time to give you something. Seven of um, seven of one. So some of y'all might just end up blocking them, or you feel like this Leo is pushing you back, okay? They could be setting the boundaries. If you're dealing with a Virgo, you think this damn Virgo is the devil? <laughs> Oh, shit. Or this Capricorn is involved with this Virgo um, manipulating their ass, okay? But you feel like this Virgo had no feeling. They're like dead inside, okay? They could be giving you the bad vibe. We have here four swords. You're just going to pull energy back from them. This Virgo, okay, ten of I feel like this Virgo is obsessed with getting back with you, being with you, having you, but they got very toxic behavior or is somebody in their life, a family member, a mother, uh whoever somebody close to them that's making them feel very toxic they stuck in something but they do love you guys or you guys may end up in this marriage or stuck in this marriage because somebody here could be sick or um, ill or just unhealthy if you're dealing with a libra we got the ace of pentacles some of you guys are about to meet a new libra or a libra is going to give you a diamond or they're going to give you something precious a token of love the empress they feel like you guys are beautiful some of you guys also may learn a libra is married and stuff as well it just depends on what's going on but this libra feels like you guys are their divine feminine divine masculine and they want to be with you guys okay the sun some of you guys this person make you make this person happy all right, this Libra is going to tell you you make them happy. Some of you guys may learn they're pregnant. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're breaking your heart, okay? You feel you feel like they betrayed you with a Libra or a Gemini, or they made the bad choice. But this Scorpio is like, I'm sorry I hurt you. I still love you. They may say something painfully to make you feel something, okay? The first cut is the deepest as well. Some of you guys, they may do this on social media, six or one, or they may put somebody out there and like they dating somebody just to get a reaction out of you. The Scorpio is doing something intentionally to make you cry and make you feel pain with the three of swords, okay? And they're going to show their feelings towards somebody else to see how you react to it. Ultimately, they want you to run back to their ass and choose them. If you're dealing with a... <laughs> That's the reaction they're hoping to get. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, okay, you like uninterested or it's an opportunity to coming back that you just like, I'm not, that's not enough for me. All right. Four of Cups, they may feel like you're rejecting their asses. And we have here the two of Crystals, so the two of ones. I feel like this Sagittarius feel like you're a good choice for them and they want to be in a relationship with you guys. Some of you guys also may learn they are in a marriage or a relationship or they chose a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Cancer over you guys. All right, let's see. But I do feel like um, they are testing your moral compass or your values, this Sagittarius, okay? Y'all may meet them at school. If you're dealing with... Um, who this is? Capricorn, Queen of Diamonds. This Capricorn is like comfortable with y'all. They may give y'all something, but they detached and they cold, okay? I feel like they enjoy the intellectual conversation y'all have together, but you're like, oh my God. They thinking about reconciling with y'all or they want to be with you guys, okay? Also, they could be like trying to stick with you guys because they feel like financially it's cheaper to keep you with the Queen of Pentacles because they don't want to put, they don't either want to spend money or <laughs> something on the kids or something here about the past here. If you're dealing with a Aquarius, we had a Queen of Swords. All right, so this is Aquarius, like, I want to know the truth, or some of you guys may know the truth about this Aquarius. All right, why they ghosted you guys, it could have been a Virgo involved, okay, or they hired a detective to see what's going on. This Aquarius may feel guilty and nervous that you guys know what they did. All right, some of you guys are trying to separate from them, or they're trying to separate themselves from a Gemini or Virgo. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they feel like you're perfect, all right, but they, or at least... They feel like you're perfect, but they could have to lie to be with you or something. <laughs> we got the seven of swords, all right? This is the truth, ace of swords, the ace of one. They enjoy the sex that you guys have, so they could be with a Sagittarius or somebody else here. But the seven of swords is smack dead in the middle. So if something is telling you, you notice about them. Hey, Karen. <laughs> Let's see. 
Wow. So that's all the people y'all dealing with anyways. They have different issues, subjects. <laughs> so yeah, that other Pisces with that seven of swords, they like that you already know the truth or they like giving you signs to what they're doing. It could be a Aquarius involved in it and stuff, okay? They could be with a very dangerous person or they may feel that this person can hurt you guys. Serve us some areas, okay? If you, uh, oh, some of y'all, somebody's like waiting to reconcile with y'all, calling in your soulmate and true love. Wow. All right, so divine timing is at play at your love life, okay? Someone from your past is going to be returning. We got here in your soulmate. So some of you guys been doing a ritual to call somebody in. And we got, this is a love of a lifetime, true love. So somebody feel like you guys are really, truly a part of their path, okay? Or they truly want another chance with y'all or they want to be with y'all in some some type of shape or form. Some of you guys been, this person been visualizing y'all. They may even have tried to call y'all. We're calling in your soulmate reflection. All right, give each other some space at this moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best, okay? So some of you guys, they saying just need time. We got here, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities that you admire in one another are the quality you both possess equally. So the qualities you don't like and also the, of your own reflection. Oh, wow. Reflection, reflection. This is deep. Wait, don't rush it. Allow nature to take its course. So somebody could be like really pushy and everything. And you can be like, man, give it time. I need time or space or something. But something about someone is reflecting on an action or somebody's reflecting on what they did to you guys or said to you guys, or you could be reflecting on this person as well. It could go both ways too. Or they say, look at this person's track record. What the hell this person is like doing? All right. Now for y'all, some of y'all, this is a family member, or for some of y'all, this is a lover or somebody that you didn't pay back or somebody that didn't pay you guys back. Okay. This is like one of their habits. They have a terrible habit or borrowing money and not giving it back to you guys or creating like bad scenarios. They want you to check that out or just making a situation worse off than what it need to be. Yeah. <laughs> also, some of you guys are, this could be a boss too, like always throwing their problems on you guys. We got illusions. Okay. So some of you guys are about to break some type of illusion. I believe um, Neptune went direct in December. So you like starting to at your work and people in your environment totally different okay the spiritual lesson has been learned which is going to allow you to start creating from a very stable place we got aphrodite okay so they want you to know love is coming okay and we got this could be a love of a job of a, or a person with the wise leadership okay so yeah you guys are very magical very strong okay the acorn is there some of you guys could be working with that as well <laughs> All right, so some of you guys, somebody has pegged you to be a leader, or they are about to give you this position as well, or some of you guys are realizing that you've been, like, selling yourself short, or you are going to be a, a job opening, or something could be opening, or you could be creating your own, um, pay, what they call it, carving your own way into something as well, or in some type of industry. All right, so the lost star, we birth out of the darkness into the light. So if you guys been in a really bad place, I feel like somebody either like is projecting on you guys or trying to shoot down your dreams. They say you're going to come up out of that. The seven sisters, okay, this could have been a group that you had to get the hell out of Pisces, okay, or family because we got cousin. Um, it's high. All right, so circle sisterhood enriches my life. So some of you guys are going to be creating your own type of um, element or finding people that you can really build with. Whoever this is that was a part of your past is gone. The visionary awake with an intuitive perspective. I see the bigger picture. All right, so some of y'all are definitely going to be able to see something for what it truly is here. All right, or something that you wasn't able to express is now going to be able to be expressed beautifully. Or you guys are going to be like, shit, your dark nights of the souls can be like um, lessons and blessings for people. Like I be telling my little family stories and stuff because that shit is real. My family hella toxic though. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm not the same. Okay, so I broke all them damn bad habits I had, and somebody could be trying to get y'all asses back into that habit. Okay, um, so uh, the old you. Hello. All right, let's see what else is going on. But y'all need to be aware. So yeah, y'all got somebody. Um, so it's a it's a sister here that may come in. 
this could be a sister that claims she's not doing drugs anymore or she don't do that shit anymore. She's still secretly like in the closet doing their drugs, their alcohol, whatever, cigarettes. They want y'all to be aware of this, okay? Um, some of you guys, this is a past friend that is clowning, okay? That y'all knew that wasn't a friend of y'all. They said, remember what they did. This person is still the same. It's an Aries that's hacking, stalking, and lurking, okay? <laughs> y'all, very, very, this could be a boss because Aries rules the boss. Be aware of that. Then you got a cousin that's also hacking, okay? They could be involved with them. It's just like a lot of shit they want y'all to be aware of. Don't forget, okay? A lot of these people just got bad intentions for y'all. And a lot of their asses are married still and stuff or in like co-commitment and relationship. That is a fake or a facade, okay? Yeah, divine, child divine. <laughs> or somebody think you're naive or some shit like that, okay? Interference from your family. So they want you to know that your family is targeting some of you guys, okay? Because they do not want you guys to break free, okay? So this is a, like a life lesson, a soul, a soul lesson that you guys are learning as well, too. Or somebody's um, secretly in magic school and like binding y'all asses here. <laughs> Got so many messages the night yeah allegiance to a destructive ruler or principle romantic delusion loyalty romance and chivalry a love of honor so while you guys up here doing the honorable thing here goes somebody that is like in cahoots with somebody working behind your back the night okay not even an emperor empress king or queen here all right so this usually y'all are on the knight of cups so it could be another pisces here let's see that's that seven of swords we seen earlier too they could be here and here too. Somebody got some 12 house placement. All right. So I feel like somebody's going to undo themselves. Or here we go. We got arrogance in pursuit of destructive knowledge, unwillingness, unwillingness to translate knowledge into action. So this is someone that's clever. They're smart. They're studying. They're reading up on you guys. This is somebody that could have did like uh, the family tree. <laughs> They could have like looked up the whole family tree. They know a whole bunch of shit. They just don't want to say anything. Humility, devotion to knowledge, opening to life, learning lessons. So you guys are like a student to life. All right. The scholar here. Somebody could be trying to fuck up your studies and shit. We got the warrior. This is somebody that's a warmonger that like is in your energy. That's constantly trying to cause you to like, ah, this is somebody like do shit to see um what would you do for it okay if i told you to do this would you do it all right trading your acne principle for victory at any cost indifference to the suffering inflicted on others so this is someone that um likes to watch you suffer strength skills discipline toughness diliente so some of you guys have an easy job you're an artist okay uh and this person doesn't like that okay this person is also like they pretend that they are a starving artist okay <laughs> mona lisa smile this person is like full of shit, okay up there posing you got a poser on the scene <laughs> all right they thank you like networking some of y'all this person is definitely um getting information here okay yeah, smiling your face all the time. They want to be your friends. Those backstabbers, backstabbers, they smile in your face. This is somebody that's smiling in your face, okay? You want to, oh, yeah, I love you. No, they don't. Conveying information only for personal gain, spread fear and falsehood. So this is somebody that literally is, um. this person thrives off of people fear. Like, yeah. Extra, extra, read all about it, okay? Enhance the unity through sharing information and gender, social awareness, and empathy. So while you up there trying to lift the collective mind or give all information, this person behind the scene doing destructive bullshit, okay? Prostitution, damn. All right, now. So yeah, do anything for clout, do anything for money. This person will sell their body, they soul, all right? Um. This is somebody saying it's okay, okay to do something, okay? And everybody got their own morals and value, but this is somebody like, girl, go ahead and like fuck while you're pregnant because it ain't gonna hurt the baby. And you may be up there like, I don't want to have sex while I'm pregnant. Girl, how you gonna pay them bills, okay? For real. This is somebody that give people that type of advice. And so somebody could be trying to protect their temple and you have somebody up there saying, well, you need to go, you know, sleep with somebody, get money to pay your bills. And you know, you don't, okay? So yeah, what would you do for it? But we got here placing material consideration and security above self empowerment. All right, so y'all got somebody around here trying to figure out prostitution. Okay, some of y'all may be learning too. Somebody has um, 
is running a whole prostitution ring. Okay, wow. Um, and you know, this could be like getting people or teenagers at the age of 18, young women or people that don't know no better because you can mold them and they got a whole ring of people behind their ass doing a whole bunch of shit. All right, but accentuate the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. Okay, so yeah, something about somebody in here, um, really is testing you guys or trying to. This could be a family member too, um, that's like trying to recruit y'all to do some shit like that. <laughs> I never forget when I was in you in juvenile and stuff when I was a teenager, and I was in the and, and I was in a cell with that girl, and she I was like, What you in here for? She was like, I'm in here for uh I'm in here for pimping and pandering. Like she was literally very beautiful and I'm in there and stuff. And I'm like for alcohol and curfew, right? <laughs> she in there for pimping and pandering. She literally getting young women like my age, giving them to the pimp or pimping them out, that type of shit. And they was in there getting and feisting every damn thing. <laughs> ah, the lady was like, you shouldn't even be in here. That's the first and last time I ever been behind some bars and stuff. But I never forget she was in there. And I remember one of my cousins being in there too in juvenile at the same time at the same time as me. She was just on the opposite side and shit. And they were like, the girls was fine. They was macing them and everything. And she's like, you shouldn't even be in here. She said, I'm going to help you write the judge a letter so you can get the hell up out of here. Because most of these girls is going up um, to Caliente, which is a place where they send like kids that don't or, you know, teenagers that don't get that shit together. And I was like, well, I feel like I need to go there because I need some discipline in order. They said, no, 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 you don't need to go there and shit. But she was like in there like, yep. Yeah. I got a bunch of hoes, that type of shit, okay? This could be like somebody that is young and trying to recruit other people. Some of y'all, this person have done that, or they in something like this that's shady. You may not know about it. Uh, them and their spouse could be doing this shit together. You'd be, you'd be amazed. Right now, you know, sometimes people be amazed how deep the rabbit hole go or shit, how basic it look on surface and how deep that shit be happening. I was sitting in there with her, though. I was like, what the hell? She was like, but I'm not going to. I said, I ain't selling my ass. I don't know what the hell you talking about. <laughs> All right, creating an image of wealth or upper class status, but really not finer things in life and upscale. So bougie. So somebody could be acting bougie. Somebody could be thinking you guys are bougie or something like this as well. Or this is what this person is. They in debt, really? Okay. We got thirsty. Okay. So somebody is like, also, guys, I'm um, being real thirsty here. Um, yeah, anything. This is somebody that hit on your husband, your man, your wife, or something because they need it or they feel like you know they'll get something out of it. Okay, this person has no type of um standards, needing valid needing validation, fishing for compliments, desperate, hunt, horny, and too eager. Okay, we got a lot of turned up energy and we got canceled here. All right, so somebody could be getting canceled, or this person, um, yeah, their, their credit cards is getting counseled for what I'm hearing. All right. Some of their shit is being exposed. They're also the person they're dealing with. They could be getting caught up as well. So I do feel like somebody could, some of y'all may learn this or somebody could be also trying to get you guys counseled. All right. Um, they could be like, oh, Pisces drunk and they turned up and somebody can even be trying to say for some of y'all that you are prostituting or you got like different people and places coming through your house and none of that shit is like true at all. You're like, yeah, miss me with that bullshit. Okay. Counsel that. Okay. So some of y'all like literally somebody's like lying here and shit on some Shit, but we have feel like it's hard to fit in. I'll caught up in the middle of crossover um, between Zeners and Millennials. Also, I also feel like somebody here could also be a cross dresser or something like that. Um, you may learn that as well. We got bread crummy. If y'all were dealing with a certain person, they're saying they were bread crummy, you guys, because they don't, they're confused or they don't know what they want. They can't make up their mind. They're not committal. And they saying this person is doing this because they're not sorry and they hella extra. Okay. So someone is like doing some bullshit to get a lot of attention as well, but they don't feel no remorse for what they're doing either. Like, whoa, oh, <laughs> all right, let's see here. Let's see the tea, y'all. So this person could be looking good for y'all. Some of y'all, somebody here, over the top, com um, completely unnecessary, unremorseful. I did what I did. I don't care what people think. We got looking good for you. Somebody could be literally looking good for y'all. 
or something. Confessions of I love you. Wow. <laughs> Some of y'all too, somebody is what they call it a beer when they gay. They use a woman to be a beer to cover up the fact that they're gay to make them look good. Some of y'all may learn that too. All right. That's not for everybody. Oh my God. So somebody is full of shit. Okay. We got um crazy shit going on. They play too much anyway. <laughs> Uh, some of y'all might told this person about their damn self too, okay? <laughs> Somebody hiding and shit. Or the whole family know, okay? We got interference from the family as well for some of y'all. But this person, family could be like fucking with y'all. All right, their whole family hate you, Pisces. Like, what the fuck? All right. Targeting you guys. You guys could be targeted individuals. And they got a gun here. So you may have to go get... um. You might have to like do some self defense, or you have done some self defense classes just because of these people, you know. What's the tea on this person? This person don't defend nobody or protect themselves. I'm getting Leo energy too for some of y'all having your cake and eating it too. So someone feel like you're getting your just desserts. <laughs> Excuse me. And then we have here reciprocated feelings. So someone wants you guys to feel the same way they feel. Somebody could feel like y'all like they, you guys are they sweet pie or honey pie. Okay, is this lemon meringue? <laughs> we have focused on you. This person can't keep their eyes off of y'all. Okay. Like, like, what you doing, Pisces? Okay, secret rendezvous. Okay. Um, I don't know if y'all mean over this person. Or this person want to have secret rendezvous with y'all or they want y'all to be aware of this. All right, being in a spotlight. Okay, so someone could literally be asking this person, how do you feel about Pisces? Okay, or you guys may be asking them that. This person definitely is like, uh, <laughs> constantly thoughts of you. Okay, <laughs> we have here, it's not love. Yeah, we can see that. Some of y'all, this person is like, mm-mm. It's all about the money. Their ex is cop blocking some of y'all. This person, yeah, ex, family, friends, okay, everybody fighting this connection. What's underneath here? All right, so some of y'all, this person is like, uh, you're not available. So they feel like because you're not available, you they don't want to fight this connection. They don't want to fight the feeling with you guys. They don't want to do anything with y'all. <laughs> all right, yeah. And I feel like this person, like, when you're not available, they do weird shit, okay? But we got Paymaster, damn. All right. <laughs> and we got here, spending time with family, so in love with you. This person, like, I'm so in love with you, but it's not love. Some of y'all got two different people. Somebody could be telling them they so in love with them just to get that money, okay? Somebody like, yeah, I'm in love with you. Now, where my money at, okay? Or pay me, run me my dollars. And we got in this together, spending time with family. I can't trust nobody or somebody mad because somebody is over there taking care of you guys or you guys are happy too, and the family could be all involved in here too. Some of y'all, this person could be spending time with their family too. That's the tea. Or you guys are they family and somebody like, oh, you must be doing that because you with such and such, but it's not the case, okay? So someone is like making rumors and shit up over here and stuff is what I'm saying. All right, so let me get some angel cards. I'm going to get out of here for y'all. That's crazy though. So... Somebody be like, oh, they spending time with Pisces. You could be their family and stuff. Or this person is spending time with people that's filling their head with bullshit. Their ex could be spreading rumors or your ex could be spreading rumors and lies about you. <laughs> Let's go. This is wild. So, no. I did Gemini's. <laughs> what we got here? We got you're ready. Okay. So whatever it is, they say you ready for this truth. You ready for the goal. You ready for the next step, Pisces. All right. Perfect timing for you guys. So something is perfect is right now. It's time for it to come off. Okay. Yeah. Last hour. This could be definitely about a Taurus or a V uh, or a Libra here with this cross here. So some of you guys are ready to know the information here, the information. All right. Don't stop. Some of you guys also, they saying it's time for you to step into the spotlight. Are you going to be giving some type of leadership position or are you going to be showcasing your talents? Yeah. Huge opportunity coming for you guys as well. So don't let nobody rain on your parade or try to talk bad. Some of you guys are got something you need to say. Or are you going to have this? Hey, okay, this is an opportunity to put yourself out there, your talents and your ability. But with that Venus symbol there, I feel like definitely there is something about a love worn that you're going to learn that you didn't know about. Okay. Talk to you guys soon. Please drop a like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.